Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris and it's week 46 of it's tea time. And the question is, would you date an FTM and what are your dating preferences? Uh, for me, historically, I tried to have a couple of relationships when I was like 16, 17 with a couple of um, biological males. Uh, those relationships didn't work out for quite a few reasons, but to sum it up, mainly I think because um, I didn't feel comfortable sexually and I didn't feel comfortable within those gender roles, the expectations that were, um, yeah, expected of me. So in saying that, I don't think that I would feel comfortable being in a relationship with an FTM either. Uh, I think there could be a conflict of interest between those gender roles. Um, but in saying that, you know, like I've spoken a bit on my own channel about um, gender roles and I don't think that it's always black and white, definitely isn't for a lot of people, um, but there would just be something about that that I think that I would just, it just wouldn't fit with me personally for where I'm at. You know, that could change uh, in the future, anything can happen in life I guess, but I don't feel at the moment that I would feel physically attracted to and emotionally attracted to wanting to have a relationship with someone who identifies as a male. Um, so for me, I have mainly dated lesbians. Uh, I identified as a lesbian for like seven years or something for quite a while. Um, always knew there was something that didn't quite fit in a way, but I did still walk with that label. Um, so my girlfriends have always been lesbians as well. Uh, I wouldn't have a problem dating a straight girl or a bi girl. Um, that doesn't bother me. Like I think that as long as the person would be comfortable with who I am and, and respect how I feel and that includes pronouns and um, yeah, just a general understanding I guess of being trans. I couldn't care less what they identify as um, in terms of being straight, lesbian or bisexual. Um, yeah, I I just think that, you know, it's about the attraction and the personality and I wouldn't judge a person and say oh, I wouldn't want to be with someone based on what their sexuality is. Um, I have a girlfriend, we've been together for um, about three and a half years now and we both met when I identified as a lesbian so it's been pretty tricky for her because uh, I think I'm the exception <laughs> to the rule when it comes to being with someone who identifies as male. My girlfriend wouldn't have a relationship with a biological male and she uh, she says that she could date someone who was trans if her and I broke up but she definitely wouldn't be with a biological male because she said that um, she wouldn't feel some level of connection and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so it's been a bit of a rocky uh, relationship in terms of the trans stuff. She's really supportive of me now and everything like that, but I guess it has been difficult for her and um, been difficult for me, I guess, because, yeah, it was a bit of a conflict of interest um, because we both met as identified as lesbians. So, yeah. But um, look, as long as the person is like honest and um, you know, and you have good communication and stuff, and I think you can work through some of those those issues that people are concerned about dating lesbians. Some people are concerned about dating lesbians for those reasons, which I get. Like, but if you have yeah that open communication, I think really does help. Um, in terms of dating someone who's N2F, I don't think personally that I would because of one main reason is that um, if you guys have been watching my other channel I before tea um, my girlfriend and I paid to get um, my eggs taken out of me and frozen so that later on would be able to like reproduce have kids not me give birth to them but my girlfriend um, be able to carry them so for me um, being with an M2F means that I wouldn't be able to use those eggs uh, and that's something that I want. I want to be able to have kids. It's something I've always wanted. So it's pretty important to me. I probably wouldn't sacrifice it for anyone, I don't think. So, yeah, that's me in um, a nutshell in terms of um, dating preferences and sexuality. So, yeah, I hope you guys are well and looking after yourselves. 
I'm probably going to be a bit late with next week's video. Um, I'm going away for Easter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going away camping with my girlfriend, some mates. We're going into the bush um, to a festival, really mad festival. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to that and um, stay tuned. So I'll probably have to upload a bit later on. So hope you guys are well. Have a mad Easter and I'll catch you later. Bye.